Now let's go to a couple of bizarre stories out of Riverside, California that happened in the same week. A 21-year-old man is accused of stealing hundreds of gallons of gas using a skimmer. And another guy in the same city, well, he went on a crime spree that started with a home invasion and ended with a police chase on a highway in an Amazon delivery truck. You have to see it to believe it. Check this out. Here, one more with you guys, we'll call it. All right, he's going over to the center divider. You can stay on the right side, we got it for you. Wrong side of the road. Crashing into cars and reckless driving on the road. This police chase is just part of an erratic crime spree that started on July 25th at a Riverside, California trailer park. Police say this man, 32-year-old Quentin Jarnell Larks, committed two home invasion robberies on Atlanta Avenue, then fled. And get this, while police were in the process of responding to the 911 call about the robberies, they discovered the same suspect also carjacked an Amazon delivery truck and took off. The stolen Amazon truck was located through GPS tracking and the chase was on. And here's another thing, while police were taking reports about the robberies, they got new 911 calls about the same delivery truck crashing into cars on a nearby freeway. The truck finally stopped and Larks took off on foot across the freeway and tried to climb a wall to escape with no luck and was finally arrested. He was booked into the Robert Presley Detention Center and is facing attempted murder, home invasion, DUI, and other charges. He's being held on a $1 million bail. We all know that gas prices are high in California, and 21-year-old Christian Gomez Sobrianas is accused of going to some extreme measures to get it. Riverside police say the suspect allegedly pumped 400 gallons of diesel gas into a super-sized container on his truck bed at a local gas station, and that put work workers on high alert. It turns out there is also a credit card skimmer on the pump. Then investigators say he allegedly came back later the same day and went back to the exact same pump and was in the process of stealing 300 more gallons. Then he got caught. The container on the bed of the white pickup was covered with a tarp, but that clearly didn't work. The suspect was arrested and booked on grand theft charges and has a $10,000 bail. As for the truck, it's at the impound lot.